Not too long ago when I was reviewing some Facebook ads campaigns, I noticed a new feature in the budget section. It allows you to schedule ahead for expected increases either based on a percent or dollar value in your spend. And it's appropriately named budget scheduling. So in this video, I wanna show you where budget scheduling lives, what it does, and talk about some scenarios when you might wanna use it. Just like many of the other videos on our channel, we're gonna be in a client account, so some stuff is gonna be blurred out, but you'll still be able to figure out what we're showing. And I chose this account specifically, because as you can see, the two campaigns that we're running have a campaign level budget and an ad set level budget. So first, let's go the simple route and utilize the campaign using campaign level budgets or campaign budget optimization. To find the budget scheduling section, we're gonna to go to edit, and then we're going to ignore everything in here and go all the way down to the bottom. And down here is where we will see the budget scheduling section. So as Facebook says, you can now schedule budget increases in advance on certain days or times when you anticipate higher sales opportunities, peak traffic periods, or other promotional times. You can turn this on either by clicking the button here, or once this announcement goes away, my guess is that we're gonna have just the checkbox here. So for now, let's just click this checkbox. And if we scroll down a little bit, be able to see the editor that we have here. The first thing you do is choose the date range down to the minute that you want your budget increase to take place. Since I don't actually want this to be published in this account, I'm gonna pick a date kind of far in the future. I'll do late next month. And then you do have the ability to choose the hours that everything runs, but it can only go to the nearest 15 minute interval. So if I wanted to do 9.45, we could start it then and then set the end date for same thing, same day or time that we want. And the second option we have is to choose what the adjustment is going to be. You only have two options here. You can increase your daily budget by a dollar amount or by a percentage amount. And those are pretty easy. As you can see here, dollar amount defaults to $5 a day. And since we had a $129 daily budget level, you can see that Meta will aim to spend an average of $134 a day with that $5 increase from the date range that I have above. If I wanted to increase this down by a percentage, it starts off at 25%, but you can change that to whatever you want. And then it will tell you what the average daily spend it's gonna shoot for. I think that's really handy because sometimes it's not easy to math on the fly, so if you need a good percentage calculator, it'll tell you right off the bat. Then the part down below, I find pretty interesting. You can add another time period, and you can see over here that you can have up to 50 entries for budget scheduling. There are a couple quick caveats though. Let's just say I add another time period. We'll scroll down. All of the adjustments are the same, except we can no longer decide if we wanna increase by a percentage or a dollar amount. We can change the percentage to a different amount, and we can certainly change the date range, but we don't get to choose what our multiplier is. We don't get to add in an amount. We have to use percentage because we already chose it. If I were to change this one to the dollar amount, this one down below would also change to the dollar amount. If you wanted to remove any time period because you decided you didn't need it, you would just click the remove button. And you'll see up here, there is a view dropdown. So if I click this, I have one upcoming entry, zero completed, and one total because I only have one here. But if you have upwards of 50, as you can tell, this line item might be a little bit challenging to look at. Even if you narrow them down and you can see that there's one date range here and there would be a second one below it if I had that, it could still be pretty tough to go through all 50 of them. So you do have the option to choose all of these different pieces here. And then just like pretty much every other change in Facebook, this is going to be a change that you would then need to publish rather than just have it take immediate effect. Let's go ahead and do that just so you can see what it looks like. Now with everything refreshed, scroll all the way back down. I have this line item here and now it's listed as scheduled. Again, if I wanted to change it, I could open it up and remove the time period. And I'm going to do that because I don't want that to happen for this account. Now uncheck the box here. And then again, once you remove a budget scheduling increase, you need to click publish again so that it will be removed from your campaigns and you won't have any increase in your budget for any of the time periods. Just remember, if you're trying to remove something that you've already scheduled, you need to click publish again. Now, I mentioned earlier, we're starting in a campaign that has campaign level budget optimization. So there's only one adjustment that we would make here. But depending on what your account structure is and how you're managing your budgets, you might need to use ad set level budgets. So let's jump into that other campaign. And here, if I click on edit at the campaign level, do the same thing, scroll all the way down. You can see that since there is no budget being used at the highest level, and look at me, old school, calling it campaign budget optimization when it's obviously called Advantage Campaign Budget Plus. Silly me. 
but since we're not using Advantage Campaign Budget Plus, we need to choose the ad set we want to use. And then we don't scroll down quite as far because this option is right here at the budget and schedule section. All the tools are going to work the exact same way as they do at the campaign level. But here you're setting them at the ad set level because you're not using Advantage Campaign Budget Plus. Now this could be really useful if you have one audience or one section of users that you believe is going to require the budget increase when another isn't. But if you need to increase budget for all of your audiences, be able to capture as much demand as possible during this time period, just remember you would need to set it up for every single individual ad set, all with the same parameters. And then don't forget that all of your daily increases will compound. So where this ad set has $26 a day budget, we're now at 31. If we did that across five different ad sets, that would be a $25 a day increase total. So just make sure that you're paying attention to what the total increase is, not just each individual ad set. We already talked about it a little bit, and Meta's definition of budget scheduling called out some of the instances you might want to use this. But I just want to close this video out by talking about a few scenarios where you might want to use budget scheduling. The first is if you're just going to be in a high seasonality period, and it's easier for you to add incremental budget on top of your regular daily budget. This could be something like a spring sale. Like I know right now, Lowe's is selling mulch for basically 50% off. This is a sale they do every single year. Everybody who uses mulch regularly knows that it's happening. And maybe Lowe's always wants there to be an increase in the percentage of spend from just after Easter into early May, since that's when that sale happens. We could also want to do something for a short sales promotion. Think Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever that entire e-commerce sales week has become now. Other people have Memorial Day sales or Boxing Day sales. If you know that you have a high demand promotional period coming up. And rather than changing all of your budgets and needing to change them back, you just want to schedule an increase in advance. This is an easy option to do that. And then the last two kind of go hand in hand. Maybe one of your other marketing channels is going to have a big boost and you want to make sure you capture any of the demand around that. Maybe you're putting out a big email push. Maybe your CEO is going on a really big podcast, or maybe you're making a company level announcement. Budget scheduling can be a great way to capture the increased demand during that time period. The same thing is true for industry news. Maybe there's a new regulation coming out and you have some pretty good content about it. So you want to increase your budget to capture that extra demand. Or as one of my clients has, one of their competitors had a real whoopsie daisy moment and had a data breach in an area where you really can't have a data breach. So we've increased our budget to capture additional demand for people looking to shift their provider to somebody else. This is something where we easily could have used budget scheduling if it were available when that time period started. And then it would have turned off at the time period where we felt that everything had cooled off. Overall, your main goal with your meta campaigns is to drive good performance for your business. And if you have some time periods coming up where you know that volume is going to be higher, you want to capture that additional interest, budget scheduling is a great way to do it. So if you have any questions about budget scheduling, any of the strategies behind it, or anything else about meta slash Facebook slash Instagram advertising, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.